go join now. Ah, if they hear me and they call you, say if they do like say no, they hear. Let go of my hand. They speak English. What do they do you now? How far? Let go of my hand now. Oh, you are in my area. You understand? I will do anything. Nothing will happen. Why they shout? Are you going to let me go? Are you deaf? Hey, you do okay now. We we'll just. Go of me. Let go of her hand. If I don't, what do you want? this one. What number is it? Because I can't find the place. Yeah, there's no signpost here and the map says I've arrived. You know what? Ah. Hold on, let me call you back. Hey! Hey! What's wrong with you? What are you doing? Uh, eh? you, what do you do? For my area! You do a mad abby! What do you want to do? Let me mind show the people something. What do you want to do? Struggle. What do you want to do? Why don't you pick on someone your size, eh? Okay, what do you mean all this one now? Nah? You're not you you waiting for them. I did talk, you did talk. Okay, leave me, leave me. Come here. What did they do you? Okay, leave me, they go. Eh? Leave me, they go. Apologize. I apologize. Apologize to them now. I apologize. <laughs> and don't mark your face, oh. You see they, see they threaten them, my dear. You see they threaten them. Okay. What do you do you now? Okay. Come on, get out. Okay. You. Come on for you. You. I see your face, oh. You. Are you guys Thank okay? you. Thank you so much. Yeah. yeah, we're fine. We're grateful. We're fine. Yeah. Where are you going to? I, I can drop you off. Uh, no, yes, we're, we're going home. Tomorrow. We're, yes, you can drop us off. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. This place? Yes. yes, sir. Thank you so much for bringing us home. Yes, thank you. You didn't have to, but we appreciate that. It's nothing. Um, I'm glad I could help. Mm -hmm. Do you want to come in? No. Um, uh, you it's don't, just that he, uh, our, our, parents, our parents would really love to thank you for helping us the way you did. It doesn't have to, Nora. You don't have to. I'm, I'm sure there's some place else you have to be. Yes. Perfect. That's but I can spare a few minutes to say hello to your parents. Great. Let's go, babe. My son, uh, my wife and I are very grateful for your intervention. Thank you. If not for your intervention, uh, who knows what would have happened. Uh, my wife and I are very grateful. Eh? Thank you so much. It's okay, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much, my son. God oh. bless you. It's okay, ma'am. Uh, to be honest, I didn't do so much. Mm -hmm. Your daughter, she did all the work. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> Mom, you needed to see the way she punched him. Like, it was so heavy. Mm -hmm. huh? Madam reporter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so, my son, you should have something to eat. Let me get you some. No, 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 please. <laughs> it's fine. I was heading somewhere when I saw the whole thing. Well, son, you need to drink at least water. Hey. You came to my house. Exactly. Yeah, drink water. Thank you, sir. Some other time, maybe. Some other time? Are you sure you still come again? Yeah. Most definitely. Oh, yeah. Mm. That'd be nice. All right. Be careful on the road, eh? I will. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you so much. It was nice meeting you, my son. It's a pleasure. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Thank yeah. God bless you. Yeah. Oh, bless you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, bless you. Which talks to you. Just a 
Oh, um, honestly, I'm telling you, you should have seen the punch she landed him. Mm -hmm. Twice, and she didn't miss. It sounds like you're impressed. <laughs> Bro, I am impressed. I've never seen anything like that from a woman. And, guy, if you see the babe, yeah, she looks very soft and fragile. I see if you push her, she go fall. But mm -hmm. she's tough, bruh. <laughs> she is tough. Your kind of woman, right? Absolutely. Oh. Guess what? what? She was wearing a Man U jersey. <gasps> She's a football fan. Bruh. Definitely your kind of woman. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's next? What do you think? I bet my apartment in Ikoya that you are going after her. <laughs> Baba, you don't need to bet your apartment. I am going after her. I said it! <laughs> Guaranteed, 100%. I don't know, you didn't say it, bro. Bro, I'm going to press you up, Baba. 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 She probably made something. Uh, okay. Yeah. So you punched him in the face? Uh-huh. Where did you learn that from? From YouTube. There's this Taekwondo instructor I've been watching. <laughs> Seriously? Mm-hmm. Look, this country is unsafe, okay? A girl has to know how to protect herself and the people she loves. A girl has to be able to protect herself? <laughs> Stop. Okay, sorry. You know I love you, right? Of course. You can't help it. <laughs> so what are we watching again? Let's go back to it. <laughs> ah, here comes our strong protector. Yes. Ah. You're welcome. Hi. Hi. He's been asking after you. Hi. Good afternoon. How are you? Very well. Okay, now she's here. What would you want her to offer you? Since you don't want to take anything from me now, she must offer you something. Ah. How's the match? Ah. Money talks. Ah, ah. Pam, give me some money now. Let me buy it. Man, you! For the girl! <laughs> give me my phone there. Give me my phone there. Wait, wait, wait. wait. I have some stuff. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. He likes you, you know. Mm. Tyler, of course. Who else? This is the third time he's here in a week. So, I see the way he looks at you. Wait, let me imitate. <clears throat> he's like... He's like, left cheek is always going this way. <laughs> and I see the way you look at him. Eh, he's a fine man. Nora, mm? you're not even up to 18, okay? You shouldn't be looking at men like that. I'll be 18 in a few months, man. Mm. Until mm. that time, mm? keep your eyes on your books and off men, okay? Yes, ma'am. So, do you like him? Oh, my leg. You mean, do I like Larry? Then yes, I love him, in fact. Who is talking about Laurie? Oh, sorry, Larry. I'm talking about Tyler. Tyler. Nora. Mm. Ah, sorry. <clears throat> I mean, he. Give me my money, Joe. Really I say, give me my money. And he has money. I'll slap you. Give money that this one. Give it to me. I'll, I'll take it. Okay. Come here. I'll slap you. Give it. <laughs> this is serious. So, have you spoken to her yet? No, I haven't had the time. I told you, she's tough. She's tough? Come on, man. You're Tyler Moore. The woman says no to you. <laughs> well, this woman is not even giving me the chance to talk to her. Bless you, she didn't even notice me, sir. She'll not notice you, <laughs> Tyler Moore. <laughs> you sure say she did straight, so? Guy, she's straight. Ah, <laughs> relax your nerves then. Take it off your mind, okay? you definitely get her. Mm -hmm. Get off your mind, let me have my happy-go-lucky friend and not this brooding one. Guy, 
in this English way. If you talk that way, that's the last you can get down as a mama. You'll be seeing a man. Hello. Hi. You asked to see me? Mm hmm. Okay. Can we go somewhere and talk? What's wrong with this place? We need somewhere private for what I have to say. Private? Let me speak to my mom about it. Here. And where is you? My house. You said we were going somewhere private. Not your house. My house is private. Take me back. What? You heard me. I said take me back. But we just arrived and... Um... Okay, wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry for bringing you here, but I promise it's not what you think. I just wanted us to talk somewhere private. Okay. Let's talk here. Here? Yes. Isn't this private enough for you? All right. Go straight to the point. Thank God. I like you. I haven't stopped thinking about you since the day I met you. You intrigue me. I'm fascinated by you. And I think about you all the time. Like, not a day goes by without the thought of you filtering through my mind. Thank you. Thank you. That, that's, that's all you have to say. Is there anything else to it? I just... I just literally poured out my heart to you. And I just said, thank you. Since that is all, though, me, I'm about to leave. This your house is fine. Mm. You hear person phone. <laughs> so how are you? Fine. Can we talk? Yeah, sure. This young man, Tyler, has been coming here every day for the past two weeks. I noticed. Oh, you do? Mm -hmm. So what do you think about him? He's okay, I guess. I mean, what do you think of him as a woman? What do you mean as a woman? Pamela, you no longer a child. You are not. I'm sure you know you're the reason he's been visiting here often. Look, we had a long conversation the last time he came. And he specifically told me he liked you. Mommy, I have not finished. He has promised to sponsor your sister's education as soon as she gets admission. What's happening? Look, it's a safe. 
He knew your father and I had been worried on how to raise money for your sister's school fees. Tyler is God's sent. Yes, he is God's sent to us. You know, since your father had an accident and he lost his job, it's been quite hard for me to take care of everyone and everything with my little salary. And every day, I pray, day and night, I pray to God to send me help, to send his angel in form of a human being. And finally, God has answered my prayer. God has answered my prayer and sent Tyler. Tyler is our helper. Tyler is God sent to us. He's an angel from God. Please, try and be nice to him. Okay? He's a good man. Whenever you see him around, show him, show him your smiling face. Try and smile. You see, when, once you push this place up, your face will be smiling. Offer him something. He hasn't accepted anything from me. But I'm sure if it comes from you, he will accept it. Please, my dear. Will you do that for me? Please. I just got an email from that ad company that I sent my CV to. And the interview is this Friday. And I, I was just thinking like, you know, babe. Babe. Huh? Did you say something? Yes, I was telling you about um, the company I sent my CV to. Oh. Your CV? Yes, the ad company. Yes, did they call you? Um, they reached out, but actually it was an email. Oh. I'm certain you get it. I hope so, I hope so. Because I'm, I'm just tired of this petty trade business. I'm, I'm tired of living like this. Just, I can't wait to get my life going. Yeah. Babe? Yeah? Do you remember that guy I told you about the other day that arrested the silly guy? Oh, yes, I do. Well, he's been coming to see my family. What for? Apparently, he he likes me. Huh? I told him off. Good. But that's not all. It, my family wants me to give it a chance. I knew it. I knew it. I, I always knew your family they don't like me. And I keep telling you this because I see how they look at me every time I'm around. But, but no, you wouldn't accept it. You say no, baby. Baby, calm down. Okay, I, I didn't accept and I, I won't. Okay, I love you and nothing is going to change that. They're your family. They will find a way to definitely change your mind, convince you. That's what they do. So you don't trust me? Come on, babe, I trust you. It's your family I don't trust. I'm not giving up on us, okay? I trust you. <laughs> hey. 
I have to go. My match is starting in a few minutes. Okay? Ready? Mm -hmm. You've barely spent any time with me. What? It's true. I, I don't know when I'm going to see you again. You've started again. You know you won't let me watch it here, so let me watch it in peace. Okay? Mwah! <laughs> Continue choosing this football match is over me. Continue. Mr. Taylor will join you shortly. I'm going to have a sweat. Hey! I was quite surprised when my housekeeper said you were here. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry for keeping you. I wasn't a call. It's fine. Hi. Wow, this is a pleasant surprise. Mm -hmm. Please sit. What can I get you? Nothing. I won't be here for long. I came here to clear the air. Okay. Yes, Nora mentioned that you promised to cover her fees if she gets admitted into the university. Mm -hmm. That's very bold and generous of you, Mr. Tyler. But you see, my family and I, we... We've got it. I just want to help. It's not a big deal. Not when you have ulterior motives. I'm sorry, I don't follow. You don't? Mm -mm. I know you're doing all this because of me. What's wrong with that? You're not even going to deny it. <laughs> Why? No. I like you. And when I like someone, I take care of the people that they love. I'm in a relationship. A very serious relationship. And I love him very much. Mm. Not all serious relationships end in marriages. I'm sure you're aware of this. Your arrogance is alarming. I'm glad you like it. Look, Pamela. Let, let me make this clear, okay? I love him. Very much. I don't think for a second that I will leave him for anyone, especially not you. And with that being said, I will see myself out. <clears throat> Feisty. I love it. Guy, yeah. she likes me, I can tell. Are you sure? Because from what you told me, it doesn't look like she does. Have I ever said anything about a woman that didn't come true? No, but you know, I, I know women. I know women like the back of my tongue. Think about it. She didn't need to come all the way just to tell me that. She could have texted me, she could have called. But no, she didn't do any of that. Mm -hmm. She came to see me. What does that tell you? She likes me. Wait, wait, hold on a second, bro. What exactly do you want from this girl? What? You know, at first I thought it was just a thrill of the chase. And then later I thought you just wanted to have your way with her and then let her go. <laughs> but now you're promising to curse her for her sister's fees, brother. Don't you think this is getting out of hand? Trust me, I liked the thrill of chasing her in the beginning. Mm -hmm. But now, I want more. More? I'm ready to settle down. Oh, hold on, hold on a second. Hold on. With her? Bro, you just the meet babe which day you say you want. Guy, you, you know Mato. You don't understand what I like told you. You know me now, guy. You know that I get bored easily. I know they like David Matapas two ways, but this girl, I don't did this girl kiss for like what? 
four weeks. Four weeks. Mm. There's just something about this girl. She, she drives me insane like I didn't meant for her kiss. <laughs> you know, I want that in my life. Brother, are you sure this is not lost speaking? <laughs> no, it's not. I thought it was, but no, it's not. So, how do you know that? I invited Eve over. Eve? The super seductive Eve? The on and off, uh, off mostly, if I remember. Yep, the same one. Whoa, I didn't know she's in town. Yeah, she's, she's back for some work thing, but that's not the point. The point is, I didn't touch her. Oh, no, 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 Your sexy, diva, attractive Eve. You see her, you know, funeral matters. <laughs> Think I get one. Like. <laughs> If, if I can't. Why? <laughs> I'm sorry, okay? Why, why? I can't. Come on. Eve. <laughs> no, not in the mood. Why? What do you mean? This girl that you've been haunting for so long, you see her, you know if you chop. Ha, my brother, you are, in, you, are, you are in a big mess, I'm telling you. <laughs> you have no idea. This is serious. You see food for I, you chop. <laughs> Tyler, Tyler Moore. Tyler Moore. <laughs> I know something's wrong somewhere. <laughs> Baby, you need to calm down, okay? It, it's not the end of the world. I'm certain that this is not the only company you sent your CV out to, and other companies will respond with good news. I don't want any other company. I didn't. I wanted Prime Court. Prime Court is one of the best ad companies in this part. You know it, and I know it. It would have been a great opportunity for me. Yes. Yes, I understand that. Okay, but like I said, it's not the end of the world. And you're smart, honey. I'm certain that something even better would come your way. Okay, just relax. You don't understand. You work in a restaurant. At least you work in an air-conditioned restaurant. I am out there in the sun hustling. I graduated with a 2-1. A good 2-1. What am I doing with my life? Nothing. I am wasting away doing absolutely nothing. Stop saying you're wasting away. That's not true. Okay, hey, look at me. Everything will be fine. Okay? I'm 31. 31. The only thing I have to my name is cubicle. I can't take care of my family. I can't take care of you. I am barely even taking care of myself. To make matters worse, I am about to lose the woman that I love to another man because he is wealthy. Excuse me, I need to clear my head. Thank you. How far? 
You are finally reading. Hmm? Hold on. What's going on? Like what? Like the fact that I walked in, I've been talking to you and you're acting like I'm invisible. Sorry. Good evening, ma. Can I go back to my book now? No. Because there has to be some sort of explanation. I came back. First of all, mommy ignored me when I greeted her. And then now, I'm talking to you and you're giving me one nonsense attitude. What's going on? There's nothing going on, Pam. I was just studying before you came. So why are you giving me that tone? Madam, I'm talking to you. Fine, talk. I'm listening. No. I'm listening. You're the one that should be doing the talking, not me. Do you really want to know what's going on? Obviously. You got admission into uni? <laughs> this is great news! You're constantly going on about how much you want to become a medical doctor and everything, but this is your chance! This is good news! Is it really good news? Yes! And what money am I supposed to use to be in this school? Do you have the money? Of course you don't. You don't have the money. Neither does dad or mom. Nora, I can... Someone who does offered to help. And what did you do? You warned him not to. You ruined my chance even before I got it. Because you're so selfish and so self-centered and so inconsiderate. Hey, what made you think you could do that? Hey, listen to me. I didn't do it because I was being selfish or self-centered. I did it because he had an ulterior motive. What ulterior motive? A relationship with you? What's the big deal in that? And this is better than that broke boy you follow around town. Hey, with. watch it. Did you hear me? I said watch it. Or oh, what? You want to hit me? Go on, hit me.
If you don't like it, I can ask Abike to cook whatever you want. No, it's 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 fine. I'm fine. No, you're not. You haven't even eaten your food. You know, when you called and asked to see me, I was very excited. But you don't look happy to be here. Is it the food? Do you want to go somewhere else? No. A restaurant? We can go anywhere you want to. It's not that. I'm just not hungry. Do you want wine? No, I just want to talk. Okay. After my father's accident, he lost his job. And my mom's civil servant job doesn't pay quarter our bills and neither does my waiting job. I guess what, what I'm driving at or what I'm trying to ask is, is there any vacant spots in your company? Something that I can do? I'm very hardworking and creative and I can work with people and, and I'll do whatever is required of me. I asked my current boss for an advance and she refused. But the truth is, even if she gave me the money, it still wouldn't be enough for her fees. What fees? Nora's fees. She got admitted? Yes. Wow! That is, that is good. That is really, really good. Yes, and I know that I asked you to stay out of it, but... I'll I take care of it. No, that's not what I want. I want to work. I know. But I'm offering. And please don't turn me down, okay? I really want to do this for Nora. She's a brilliant kid and she should be encouraged. Thank you. About work, <clears throat> there's a spot in my office. You can have it if you want. I want it. Then it's yours. Thank you, sir. What spot is it? My personal assistant. A PA job. He's PA. Yes. Hmm. It's just a job. There's nothing attached. Okay. And how much is the salary? A hundred and fifty. Thousand? It's just for a start. One hundred and fifty thousand and it's just for a start. Does he need another PA? <laughs> I'm serious. I mean, you the one fifty k. That's I don't even make that in a month. And and you only have O and D. Wow. No strings attached. Hey. Don't you trust me? I'm trying. I trust you. No strings attached. <laughs> you have no time to strangle him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm serious. Pink is wrong. What? I swear you'd be a bad guy, I swear. A job as your personal assistant? Emphasis on personal. Ah, you're bad, I swear you're bad. But I'm not. Guy, when I see something I like, 
I go for it. Just like I do in business. How do you think I made it in business? Guy, you need grit to get anything you want in life. Calm down, bro. That babe never agreed for you. She just accepted the job as a PA, nothing more. <laughs> <laughs> Guy, I think I tell you. See now, this thing where you talk don't go slow. You're gonna fix her, calm down. You're gonna fix her. Let me ask you something real quick. Why do you think I stopped having female PAs? Um, because they all end up in your bed. Exactly. Pamela is not going to be an exception. So it's just heat and run. What? No. No, no, no. no. You know, and I intend to keep her. You know, this, this girl is messing with my mind. I'm constantly thinking about her day in, day out. Papa, you know me now. I can ring any girl right now. She will pull up, we will D. But this girl, she, she has me wrapped around her finger. <laughs> you know, love will always disgrace us. Always, someday, somehow. Love. Who said anything about love? Uh, you don't love her. Baba, you know me now. I don't do love, but <gasps> I make love. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, this guy. Bro, I want this girl. And what Tyler wants? Tyler gets. Mm. What Tyler wants, Tyler gets. Yep. Bad. Guy, you bad, pass bad. Oh, I tell you. Boy. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. This match almost started. See, they're going to beat you. You see, everything. You see, you see. Well, I make I swear for you. They're going to beat you today. Hey, first man, go bring drink for you. Hey, bro. <laughs> you watch me. Have you eaten? Yes, sir. No. Not, sir. It's Tyler. Okay, sir. Pamela, the name is Tyler. I can't just call you by your first name. You're my boss. But I'm asking you to. It's an order. Okay, sir. So what was that? Yes, sir, Tyler. Morning, Pamela. I'll be working from home today. Is, is everything okay, sir? I'm fine. Did you get the files that I asked for? Yes. Good. Bring it to my room. You need to come close. I don't want to shout. Um, I'm fine here, so I can hear you clearly. I've never forced myself on any woman, and I'm not going to start now, so you have nothing to worry about. Being alone here with you, sir, is enough to worry about. Pamela? Sit. What are you afraid of? Ah, uh, I see. You're afraid that if you spend too much time with me, You'll fall for me. That's not possible. I love my boyfriend. I love my boyfriend. <laughs> he is so cute when you protest. I mean, I could watch you all day without getting tired. But I have work to do. And so do you. So, 
Let's get to it, shall we? The files? <clears throat> Here? Changes to this and this one. So um, please note that. Did you find any other copy to this contract? Yes. Home. I can I can find my way. Who said I'm driving you home? Oh, I forgot that you. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What? Can you can you do that again? Do it. Can you smile again? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> You are so beautiful. Um, it's it's getting late. We should head out.
<laughs> thank you, son. Thank you. Thank you so much, son. Thank you so much, son. Bless you. Ah, Pamela. Dad, what's yes, we had. What's going on here? Should I tell her? <laughs> <laughs> Don't. This is our new place. Mm -hmm. You're joking, right? What are we doing here? He he got this place for us. Mm. Don't you like it? Mm. Yes. Don't you like it? So. What do you think? Do you like the place? It's very nice, thank you, sir. That's Tyler. <laughs> hey, bro, what's up? Yo! Sorry, I kept you waiting. I was in a meeting when I got your text message. What's yeah, happening? It's all good. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, so, what's up? Uh, what is this? Open it. What's this? A ring for Pamela. You want to propose to her? Are you out of your mind? Yes, I want to propose to her. I uh, know. I'm not out of my mind. Hey bro, come on. What is wrong with you? First you got her a house, and now a ring. Really? Bro, listen. I understand that you fancy this girl a lot. And that she ticks your boxes and you want to be with her, but... Do you think you're taking this thing too far? You are! Come on. First you got her a house, and now a ring? For a girl that told you she has a boyfriend. Come on, brother. Uh, about that, I already took care of it. You what? How? I met him. The boyfriend. This is a blank check. I'm sure the amount you decide eventually will cover for whatever losses you might have incurred in the past 14 months together. I don't know who you think you are. But my love is not for sale. Of course it's not. I didn't say it was. What is this? Open it. I heard you've always wanted to work with Prime Cut. So, I got you your dream job. Don't worry about how I found out. I make it my business to know my business. I've done my part. Now it's time for you to do yours. Stay very far away from Pamela. I want her, and I'm going to get her. Are you serious right now? It took the job offer, not the money. Yep. Why? It doesn't make any sense. Shouldn't he have gone for the money instead of the job offer? He's playing a game. He's playing a game. What game? He's playing hard to get. Hard to get. How do you know that? He's going to come back for the money. One way or the other. Are you sure about that? Trust me. I know guys like that. <laughs> Man. This is, this is something else, actually. So, you like? Yeah, yeah. Yeah? <laughs> it's, it's nice. What the hell does this guy think he is? Of 
offering you money to break up with me? I mean, does he think he can just buy whatever or whoever he wants with his money? You didn't take it, did you? Of course not. I'm not that cheap. I threw the check back at him. And I looked him in the face. And I told him that my love for you will never be for sale. I don't understand. This guy's arrogance is it's becoming alarming. Like, do people around him tolerate this? Shouldn't he be stopped or something? So he got you a house? An apartment and... Look, I... I only took it because... The landlord at the former apartment had been on our necks because rent was almost due and I'd been complaining to you about how unsafe I felt the area was. Look, and for the first time in a really long time, I saw my family genuinely happy. Larry, they're the only reason I took this apartment. You know, Five, you know he would not stop until they get what he wants. Well, he won't get what he wants, okay? He won't. He visits your family. They like him. He got you an apartment. What if he asks you to marry him? Is this some sort of joke? I'll turn him down, of course. You turn him down for what? For me? A wealthy man. Isn't that what I've already been doing? And, and besides, I understand that money is important, but my happiness is important as well. And that guy is proud and pompous and arrogant and I, I hate him. Hey. You more than anyone, you know how much I hate rich people that think they can get away with whatever they want. Look at me. Look at you. You love me and I love you. I will give my life for you if I have to. But we cannot even start a family because right now, we are financially crippled. working now and the pay is good you know that Pam. you have a family to cater for there's so much responsibilities on the shoulders What does that mean? Where, where is this conversation going? Whatever proposal he offers, be it marriage or relationship, accept it. Excuse me? Hey guy, are you sure about this? You know, this is a lifelong decision. Are you really sure you want to do this? Trust me, I want to do this. Okay. Nice place. Ah, oh, Tyler, my son. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> so good to see you. So good to see you. Hello, son. Hi, my son. How are you? I am so happy to see you again. Thank you and how so are much. you? Very fine, sir. Good. 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 Good.
Uh, How's everything, sir? Wonderful. Yeah. I am alive. <laughs> so good to see you. Wonderful. Yes. You're welcome. Yeah. God bless you. God Amen. will honor you. Amen. You will not lose your reward. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. It's okay. Thank, Thank you. So you. have you prayed, and so shall he be saved, and so shall he be done. <laughs> <laughs> this house is beautiful. Yes. Thanks for all the prayers. Wow. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Um, Thank you. <laughs> Sir, yes, ma'am. I'm here to, rather, we're here to officially ask for Pamela's hand in marriage. Ah, oh, yes, really? <laughs> ah, yes, sir. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> yes. And uh, when the breadfruit has fallen, eh, we should be eating those two <laughs> things. <laughs> Hey, you're welcome. Thank you. Hey, uh, what is covered has now been uncovered. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> um, Mama, Tyler was here earlier on to see you. He said he wanted your hand in marriage. And what did you tell him? I, I, I told him he has to see you first, you know, so you can take a decision. You did? Yes, my daughter. You see, much as we like Tyler and we think he's good for you, we equally understand the fact that it's all your decision to make. Hmm. Yes, we can't force you to do anything you don't want to. Especially marriage. Mm. No way. Mm. Um, um, your mom is right. Uh, we know that you have your own opinion. So uh, you need to take your own decision. And uh, we love you so much. Uh, so whatever decision you take uh, will be behind you. We will back you up. Babe, 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 calm down. Do you even hear yourself? Do you understand what you are asking me? Answer me! Babe, opportunity only knocks at your door once and all I am asking is that we take our only chance. Chance? Chance of what? Of me dating another guy? A chance at getting what we want. Look, I know, I, I know how much you hate him. But look at this like a contract job. All right? Just be with him long enough to get enough money and then you break things off. That's it. The fact that you can even think of this. Can you hear yourself? So you're pimping me off? My own boyfriend is selling me off to the highest bidder. Right? I have to have sex with this guy because you... Because I did you... not say that you should sleep with him. I didn't say that. So what are you saying? Hmm? That man that I've seen is desperate. And he will do anything, literally anything for you. You didn't sleep with him and he gave your family a house. You didn't sleep with him and he gave you money. You didn't sleep with him and he gave you a job. Huh. You have him in the center of your palms. You have power. I still don't understand this. You 
You've always said you wanted revenge. But someone needed to teach him a lesson. What if that person is you? Yes. Look at the brighter side, Bob. You will be killing two birds with one stone. You will get revenge and you will make money for us both to start our lives together. That doesn't seem right, Larry. It's deception. Deception? Life is a jungle. Only the tough survive. And my beloved Pam, at some point you will ask yourself, do I want to be predator or prey? parents said you want to marry me. Yes, but did they also tell you that my assistance is not hinged on your answer? Yes. Good. Because I've never forced a woman to accept me and I'm not going to start now. Neither do I want you feeling obligated to me. With everything that you've done, it's, it's hard not to feel that way. It wasn't intentional. I just wanted to do something nice for you. And I appreciate it. I'm glad you do. My answer is yes. Yes. Yes to what? Yes to marrying you. you, you'll never regret this, okay? Thank you. Bro, she said yes. <laughs> of course she did. No woman can resist Tyler Moore. <laughs> yeah, she just left my place. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, we need to celebrate, bro. <laughs> so I was even going to call you. Guess what? Okay, I got a call from Prime Court. And I got the job. Congratulations. I'm happy for you. Listen, babe, if it's about I said what yes. I said. You said what? He asked me to marry him, and I said yes. You said yes? Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Pamela! 
Pamela, open the door. Pamela, open this door right now. What are you doing in the guest room on our wedding night when we have a bedroom? Pamela! I should be mad at you. I have so many plans for our first day together. Plans you ruined when you ran into the guest room. Is this why you asked us to stay back instead of traveling? For the past two months, I've realized that I can't stay mad at you for too long no matter how hard I try. But please, don't do that again. Denying your husband the pleasure of your body is a terrible way to start a marriage. Now let's eat before it gets cold. What are you doing? We haven't said grace. Grace? You may not believe it, but I say my prayers. I know you don't know a lot about me, but don't worry. Now that we're married, you're going to discover the different layers to Tyler. Father, we thank you for breakfast. We thank you because thank you. Not so fast. I'm not going to let you disappear again. I can't. Why? Because I'm on my period. What? Yes. It started this morning. But, uh, Excuse me.
is this? A gift? Do you like them? I wasn't sure what type you liked, so I made a wild guess. And from the look of things, I wasn't wrong. I can't. What do you mean you can't? It's been one week. You're no longer seeing your period. You were counting? Of course. Are you joking? Of course I was counting. Why wouldn't I? <laughs> Look, you're no longer seeing your period, so you don't have any excuse, okay? I'm not ready. What's that supposed to mean? What do you mean you're not ready? What kind of English is I'm not ready? Like you're not ready to fulfill your wifely duties? Yes. And you said you wouldn't force me. That you wouldn't force any woman. Do you remember those words? That is ridiculous, okay? First of all, I'm not going to force you. I'm not trying to force you. I'm not going to force any woman, especially my wife. But I'm your husband for goodness sake. I have needs, okay? And I'm not ready to fulfill your needs. Then what are you going? When are you going to be ready, wifey? I can't believe I'm asking this, but when will you be ready? Look, I'm waiting. When will you be ready? I don't know, husband. Are you joking? What do you mean you don't know? You don't know when you're going to be ready to have sex with your husband? You can't keep denying me all of this now. Like, come on. <laughs> you know I did the right thing to... Hey, all of this is my body. Okay, and I'll decide what I want to do and when I'm going to do it. We're not done talking. Well, I am done. Hold on a second. There was no wedding night? You mean you guys still haven't done it? Oh, this is serious. So what's her excuse for it? She's not ready. She's not what? Can you imagine? What does that mean? I don't know. I'm as confused as you are. Why did she marry you if she didn't want to do it with you? Why? Hold on a second. Are you sure they are not still seeing themselves? No. You can't be so sure. They could still be seeing you, know. Hey, listen. We need to have someone telling her. Okay? We need to be sure that they are not having a relationship under your nose. Are we good? This doesn't make any sense at all. I can't. Okay, I can't do this anymore. This guy is driving me crazy. His arrogance is driving me crazy. So what if he bought me gifts? Is that enough to, to want to sleep with me? Is that enough to demand for sex? Baby, hey, listen to me. I'm tired. Okay, let's just, let's forget about this whole plan. I can't do it anymore. No. No. You can't. It's just one week post wedding. If you leave now, you live with nothing. Then everything that we have worked hard for would be nothing, absolutely nothing. I don't think you're hearing me. I can't stay anymore. Think about the money and stay. I don't care about the money. I did this for you. You talked to me into this. Remember? Um, I, I love you. 
Okay? I mean it with every single fiber in my body. But in order to achieve the life that we deserve, we must see this truth. We must. But you have a better job now. And if I leave him, I can get a job and we can support each other. Like we always have. It's not enough. It's not. We need more. And more. And more. Sometimes in life, to get what you deserve, you must get your hands a little dirty. That's it. You've changed. How? You're not the same man. All this talk about money and... You don't even care that I'm living with another man. You think I don't care? How could you say that? You think I don't care? That my woman is living under the same roof with another man? She could fall for him? She could dump me for him? You think I don't worry about it? I worry and I fear for it every single day. Even right now. But what, 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 what would the worry do for me? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Let me ask you this. What if he forces himself on me? He won't do that. What if he does? Pam is too proud. And even if he does, we will sue him for spousal rape. And he will cough out so much money for the case to end. I swear it. From Mr. Tyler. And what is this? Monthly upkeep. And where is he? He left very early this morning to the orphanage. The orphanage? For what? It's that time of the year. What time of the year? His birthday. Oh. Okay. Um, every 25th of this month, he visit the orphanage to celebrate his birthday. Where he grew up. He grew up in the orphanage? Um, yes. <laughs> I mean, I knew that. I was just... skipped my mind. <laughs> okay. I'll be downstairs. If you need anything, come. Thank you.
knocked, but he didn't respond. I was in the bathroom. Yes, I am. Is there something you want? I was, I was hoping you could join me downstairs. Why? There's something I want you to see. I'll join you shortly. I'm sorry I didn't know. Abigail told me. It's fine. You got this for me? Yes. You didn't have to bother yourself. Come on. It was no bother and besides, you're the only man I know who gives people gifts on his birthday. orphanage and the money. Abike told you, didn't she? I I didn't realize you grew up there. You you introduced us to your family before the wedding. Yeah. My uncle and my auntie and their families. Um I met them a few years ago. They're my mother's siblings. Cut my cake, right? Yes. <laughs> Let me get a knife. Yeah. We can we can open up for you. So silly. <laughs> <Say that again. laughs> I can't believe you did that. Did what? This is the best birthday ever. Stop it. I'm serious. I hardly do anything for myself. But you got me a cake. We had a great time. And we got to know each other better. What else can a man ask for? Are you always like this? Like what? Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> you should have seen your face. Yeah. You look so shocked. <laughs> well, I am. I mean, this is the first time my wife is paying me a compliment, so... Well, you can't blame her. She, um... She thought you were arrogant and pompous. <laughs> Stop it. And now? What does she think? She still thinks you're arrogant and pompous. But she also knows that you have a large heart. What you're doing for those children is impressive. Any 
anyone else could have plastered it all over social media, but you respect their privacy. And that's remarkable. It's the least I can do for them. I have to go. Yeah. I don't know what to make you this smile. <laughs> I don't just know I don't know why you smile now. Hey man, I told you. I told you. I told you that you would fall for this girl, but you didn't listen to me. See your life now. Girl was supposed to fall for you. Now you're gonna fall for the girl back. Nobody to do me that. <laughs> so hold on a second. Let me ask. So you literally confessed your love to her and then she didn't say nothing. Guy. That's not how it happened. <laughs> so how did it happen? She's still trying to get used to me. Ah, oh, this guy. Four weeks married and she's still trying to get used to you. Come on, man. I won't take that. Come on, I won't take it. You know, I warned you about this. I told you, but you didn't listen. You did not. She has feelings for me, mm. okay? She's just not ready to to say it. Listen. You need to understand something. A woman's heart is a den of secrets. You can't fathom it. Yeah. If she hasn't told you she loves you, do not assume things. Bro, you know this thing now. You don't like say you be learning for the matter. Wait, I'll ask you a question. You get beep. <laughs> I'm playing game, I like you. You, like you, game. you don't get beep. The advice was you don't, so don't marry. I don't tell you, bro. Wait, ma, I'll show you. What is your mouth with you? I'll do it. I'll mess you up just now. I'll do it. Come on. Five hundred thousand? All of it for me? Babe! Wow! Wow! 
Ladies and gentlemen, 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 is that your words? Ah! I don't even know how to behave. All my life, I have wanted to have this kind of cash. But baby, you made it possible. You did. You are the most loyal partner anyone can ever wish for. I wish every woman in the world was like you. The world would be a much, much beautiful place. Beautiful just like you. I've missed you. I've missed this body, your skin, your lips, your breath against mine. Four weeks without you has been torture. I'm not... I'm not feeling well. Oh, babe, come on, I've missed you. Here's some sugar, okay? Just... Oh. What is wrong? I've been down with a fever. A fever? But you're not running temperature. That's because I'm on medication. Come on, babe. Come on. Some other time, Larry. Please. Did you sleep with him? Excuse you. My question was very clear. I said, did you sleep with him? No. And why exactly would you ask me that type of question? <sighs> okay, I'm sorry, I was overthinking it. I know I shouldn't have asked you that, okay? I know how much you hate him, alright? Tell me, what can I do? Just ended my call. What manner of there is in and disregard? <laughs> Pamela! So this is why you have been ignoring my calls for the past week? This is it? What exactly are you doing here, Larry? Oh, what I am doing here? I have come here in flesh to end what I started. Hey, you need to leave this place right now. Did you hear me? I said leave. No, make me. Your wife here in the past week gave me a check of 500,000. Don't, don't. Deny it. Deny it. It's not like that, okay? It's... Yes, we had a plan in the beginning, but... But that was because I was angry and... And you offered him money to leave me. Money that I rejected because I was staying loyal to you? How foolish was I? I should have accepted the money. Remind me never in my life to trust a woman again. Shut up! What about the job you took? Prime cut. I gave it to him and he didn't hesitate to take it. I'm sure he only turned down the money because it was a check. He didn't want to trace to him. So you... 
You took the job and you didn't mention? Yes. Uh huh? I did it. What was I supposed to do? Reject the job? When you know how hard I have fought and worked to get into Prime Court? It was too good, I couldn't reject it. Oh, really? And yet you're here, accusing me of betrayal when you started it? How could you? No, how could you? How could you? That should be the question. How could you cheat on me with him? How? Oh. <laughs> I know exactly what it is. I know it. Oh, you think I don't know? You think I don't know you've been sleeping with him? That you couldn't wait to open your legs wide to have him sleep with you? Come on, Pam. You know that hard to figure out. From the second you started ignoring me, I knew it was happening. I knew it! You know, my family warned me about you. But I didn't listen. Because I was in love. I can't believe that I thought that you loved me. After everything you were doing, I thought you loved me. I did. I did. My well, life is a jungle. And only the tough will survive. I needed the money. We needed the money. You. You needed that money, not me. And you know what? I hope that when you get all this money that you're so bent on having, I pray that you don't die old, lonely, and miserable, and lonely with all your money. Pamela, don't you dare walk out on me! Don't ever come back here! Pamela! Can we, can we talk? What's this? Write whatever amount you want. I didn't ask you for money. But your boyfriend needs it. I mean, the reason you married me was for you to get enough for the both of you to elope together, no? Or would you rather cash? Because I think you'd prefer that. I know you're angry, but you don't have to insult me. How is giving you and your boyfriend money an insult? Huh? I expected you to grab it with both hands in gratitude. Hey, I know that Larry and I had a plan, but it wasn't because I wanted your money. It's because I was angry at the fact that you thought you could buy me. You thought you could buy anything you wanted. And I just thought you... And I just thought you needed to learn a few lessons. Nice. Nice. Lesson learned. Look, I'm Don't sorry. touch me. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm not proud of what I did. You shouldn't be. You know, you're not exactly innocent in all this. Mm-hmm. You thought you could buy me like I was some business deal. And that wasn't because you loved me. That was simply because you wanted to own me and conquer me. You weren't used to girls rejecting you, right? Well, now you own me. Congratulations. That's what you wanted, right? To own me.
coming to talk to you. Me too. Growing up in the orphanage was hard. I fought for everything I wanted. I grew up thinking everything and everyone had a price. And if you fought hard enough, you would get whatever you wanted. It worked for me in my business. So I thought I could apply it in my relationships. But I was wrong. People have feelings that should be respected. I shouldn't have offered Larry money for you. It was disrespectful. And I apologize. Forgive me. I'm sorry too that the schemes that Larry and I had planned out, they weren't, they weren't right. And I judged you like I was innocent and my life was perfect. I'm sorry. So, Larry. And I are done. And I mean it. I love you. And not because you paid me enough to love you. But because beneath all that arrogance is a good man with a good heart. And I couldn't tell you before because I was surprised. But no matter how hard I tried to hate you, I just couldn't. How long have you known? Known what? That you love me. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yes. Um, really? Out of everything I said. Yes, I, I just need to know when you caught my irresistible charm. Speaking of arrogance. I am not arrogant. Mm. Okay, what I am is a man in love. Start. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, where should we watch it? Here or upstairs? Right here is perfect. Great choice, wife. Mm. Mm. <laughs> and after the match, mm -hmm. we have another match upstairs. Wink, wink. <laughs> <laughs> 